Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to monitor heap memory of your Java app servers. Uh, app servers like Tomcat, WebLogic, Glassfish, uh, so this kind of uh, uh, provided uh, Java, Java servers or you can, uh, you can see the Java process as well. So uh, let's, uh, I will start with Tomcat now, Tomcat is working now. So just to monitor now, monitor that you need to go to uh, java, java or any java java where you will have a visual vm or j console so you can download the j console or the visual vm uh, just to visual uh, to see the uh, heap memory so even you can connect to your uh, uh, services which uh, you can connect to the uh, process which are uh, which enabled with the jnx then you can connect it with your local which to a remote machine so now go to the J Visual VM or J console. I'm open the J Visual VM currently. Uh, if you have installed JDK or I like JDK, you'll be definitely having the J Visual VM. Otherwise, you need to download it from the Google or uh, you need to see, uh, use the J Visual VM or console. Yeah, now it is opening. You, you can see the options here local and remote. So if you're connected to the, if you want to connect to the remote machine, then you can add a host here. But make sure that JMX service is enabled in uh, server side. Otherwise, you cannot connect, connect to it. So, in the local Tomcat is running. So, I had it for showing the process details. Same thing, it will be shown in the remote when you connect to the JMX service. Now, go open the Tomcat. Open the sense, double click on it. So, it will show you the uh, JVM arguments here. So, in the, in the overview, if you go to the monitor tab, it will show you the it will show you the heat memory and user memory and uh, uh, maximum it was given uh, for uh, this many bytes of uh, heat memory and this was the used memory and this is the actual heat size it was created for now so and uh, gc activity we have one gc activity here it was showing the uh, tpus from tpu stage it's a tpu similar gc activity and it will show you the classes and threads here, active threads, your live threads are 26 and the live peak is 27. Uh, peak is 27, but uh, now currently even 26. Uh, total threads started is 31. So you can go to the field, how many threads are running and how many threads are in the active status. So if you want to get a thread dump, click on here to get a thread dump. And uh, in the moment that if you want to get any uh, heap dump, so you can click the button heap dump to get a heap dump. And uh, uh, yeah, so these are the options that we can use for the Java process if you don't have any monitoring to monitor. So, thanks for listening, this friends.